All right. Let's start work on these this cross member. See if we can catch it all. See if we can't brace these up a bit to help strengthen them. We got a bunch of cracked ones. looks good and I think that's going to be real strong and help prevent that corner from ripping yeah I mean we gotta get we gotta bolt that yeah we'll have to draw a hole but I guess next step would be to do this and then we can actually get one of the cross members out and attach it mm-hmm Do we want them at 96 even? Yeah, right? Yeah, because that's the exact length. That should be what these are. They're actually just under. Yeah, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have to eyeball this bolt. We're going to have to drill this separate. Which is going to kind of suck. Because we're going to have to measure it, drill it, and measure it, and drill it. Yeah. Measure in and down and get the hole right. Yep. Actually, we've got to do it on all of them. We've got to do it on all three. So we're going to have to drill these holes in this thing first. Yeah. Um, so we're going to need... we got to cut this down. So probably can... These on this are stuff, 95 and like 5 eighths. Or not. No, that one's really short. Uh, I wonder if it's because it's bench. I don't have any idea, but the bottom line is that we make them, we're taking them all the way out to the edge, right? Because we're bringing the, yeah. the aluminum yeah. right over the side, right? Yeah, I would think you'd want them to be 96, because that's the width of the board. Yeah, or maybe 95 and 7 eighths or something. So I mean, we got to decide. We can do whatever you want. Let's do 95 and 7 eighths. That way, that way there's no risk in them sticking out past the, the mm -hmm. plywood. Mm -hmm. So 95 and 7 eighths is what this needs to be cut to. Alright, well, drag it back out here and we're going to go make the cut.
All right, so camera shut down. I ran out of internal memory. I had to switch it over to the memory card. Um, but we got one aluminum rail on here. I just want to show you the strength difference between the new cross members I'm putting on and the steel. Got a same drill on each side. If I do a dip on it and just shake a little bit, one completely falls off, one drill doesn't move at all. So the work we're doing, it's a lot of work, but it's making this a whole lot stronger than what was originally here. So that's where we're going to stop it for today. We got one on. All right, so the last bit that you saw, we were working on the back. We got one pontoon cross member on, one of the new ones. And uh, we need to put the front one on here. So I just took off this cross member on the, it's on the ground down there now. As you can see, this piece here, this flange where it mounts is broken. Um, the rest of them are actually intact for this one. So what we're doing is I'm going to take my grinder. I'm going to grind this flat. And then I'm going to cut a piece... This here is the uh, original decorative trim that was around it. It's about the same gauge as this, and it's what we used to make the cross piece back there underneath. So what I'm going to do is cut a small piece of this, and I'll cut it down to what I need so that way it'll fit just like this, flush, and we can weld it up right along here. We'll be able to weld a piece of this on here and then cross it with the... Uh, pieces I pre-made yesterday. So I did some work off camera. You see this used to be blue. I wire wheeled it and got it cleaned up so it's clean. This is going to be used actually to make on the front here where we're extending out. This is going to get mounted up on the front. Got a couple pieces here but they'll get mounted up like this right at the front and then that'll mount the uh, front cross member. So I got four of these that I made up that are ready to go. But I'm trying to get this front cross member because we've got to set up this front member, get it in place, and once this one's in place here, we'll be able to come up and put this one in because we've got to figure out the exact height. I don't know if I've got to trim these down. I think those are going to be pretty close to exactly what we need, but I've got to get a cross member mounted up here so we can figure that out. So that's what I'm doing now, getting this cleaned up. My dad should be over here pretty soon and we're gonna get rolling on this thing, but for now, I get this uh, cords over there, but I get this thing plugged up and square that up. So that's where we're at. Get y'all get caught up to what we're doing. But I'm off all weekend now, so I got three days that I'm gonna be working on this. So my goal is to have all the cross members on. Once all the cross members are on, then I can start painting the underside of my wood because I'm going to paint the uh, underside of the deck there. But what I'm actually going to do is I'll, once I get all these cross members on, I'll be able to lay all of my deck uh, plywood out and I'm going to paint one side of it to seal it. And then we'll be able to flip it over. I'm going to cut my groove in it so we can put our tongue and we'll be ready to roll. So. As for now, we'll jump back into more uh, time lapse, but a lot of this is going to be for now. Once we get into some of the more interesting stuff, when we're actually building the lights and all that stuff, then you'll be able to see a little more. Right now, it's a lot of time lapse and a lot of just stop, talk, show you what we're doing, and then move on. So, without further ado, I'm going to do some grinding. Say hi to the chickies. Hey little chickies.
All right, I'll pause this thing for a second and uh, get some stuff prepped. We're get ready to move to the back where I'm going to get some stuff taken off the boat. All right, I'm going to get some prep work done for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a long day for me. I'm going to try to get as many of the cross members done as I can. Um, but step one for getting these cross members, I'm going to get that rear cross member off. You can kind of see it. That thing got bowed bad um, by the previous engine mount. It just couldn't take the strength over the years. Everything hung on it. So replacing it with the aluminum is going to be much nicer. It's going to make it a lot stronger. But right now, what I'm going to do is get that cross member and all of the pieces, the little shelf pieces off. So that way tomorrow I can get those last three cross members on because there's going to be three at the ends. will be one, two, three. And then we're going to rebuild both shelves on each pontoon to be a little bigger and a little better made than what's on there currently. Design those shelves and figure out how I'm going to rebrace them further back. But as for that, that should be uh, all I need to do for tonight. I got to get this stuff cleaned up and get the ATV parked back in here, and we'll be ready to stand by till tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be cross member day hopefully we can get a lot of them done but we'll see how my morning goes so all right signing off for today all right so we're picking up today with the rear cross members to start so we gotta do some repair work and then we'll get ready to start attaching cross members that's today's goal let's see how many we can get attached Alright, so I had to offload some video footage, right, free up some space, um, but while I was, that was doing its offload, I went ahead 
I got the rest of the cross members off so now I've got to clean everything up and get ready to do some repair welds and then weld all my plates where they need to be here and we'll be ready to attach the last couple but what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get all my plates welded into position so that way everything's done and I can just start working on attaching the cross members all I have to do is lay them out drill them and and bolt them down mounted. Now like I said we've got to bring out our plywood sheets and we're going to lay all the sheets on and just make sure it's all laying square. So I got to get all of the uh, junk off the top of this so we can bring out plywood and we'll see how square we are. But there you go. Let's grab the camera. Uh, so there you go. So all the cross members are on. We I said we added two cross members from what was originally here. Originally there was just nine. Um, we put the three across the back there to help support the transom better because like I said that very back cross member that was originally here is a thinner galvanized steel, and that cross member was actually bent from the weight of the motor back there. So we have added an extra cross member to support that and these are a thicker heavier material that's a lot stronger so as you come forward you can see where we added that there's a couple pieces of aluminum we have sitting there we're going to weld on some extra bracing so that way those don't get too much side to side flex in them um, but that'll go on here very shortly we're just waiting until we lock everything down. Once everything's locked in position, we know everything's square, then those will get welded on and uh, that'll be braced a little nicer. So that's where we're at for now. Um, and that's pretty much a stopping point till my dad gets here this afternoon. He works night shift, so he won't be here till this afternoon because doing the transom is going to be a two person job. So that's where we're at. All right, so all cross members are on and we got the plywood out to check how square we were and it was not super square. So the ratchet straps you see were used to square it up. Right now everything's sitting perfectly square. So we're gonna leave the ratchets on until we actually secure the wood, which would be a couple days or so. 